Let's say this is getting a little hard to see and you want to start adding some um, colors like is very common in Katia. What we can do is we can use this appearances thing right here. We can go to appearances. We can either um, apply materials that look like objects or we can just do solid colors. So for now, let's just use our colors here. So let's say that we wanted this one, uh, this bottom part to be red. So we can either select that the body is red, just that extrude is red. We can set just the face to red. Or you can select that just this part in the assembly to red. So this one will set the actual part to red so that any instance of that part is red and this color appearance will also show in the part file. If you set it just to this assembly, this, this appearance does not apply to the duplicate part that's right above it. We can actually set that duplicate part to um, yellow, clicking that guy, or orange, whatever color that is. But let's say we wanted to set these to, I guess that was orange. Let's set these to blue. So we can set it again either to just that one part, or we can set it to the entire part, or just the body. So if you have multiple bodies in a single part file, you could set multiple colors per body. Since we only have one body, these two tools work identically. And since we only have um, one extrude feature, this will also work identically. So all three of these currently are the same. But if you had multiple extrudes, you could set each one of those to a color. You could set individual bodies in a part to colors. You could set that whole part file to a color, or just that instance of the part file in your assembly to a color. I want all these to be blue, so let's go ahead and set that. Then let's apply our last color. Let's do, do pink onto that guy, and let's just do um, that body. And then to see the appearances on top of your tree, this is your feature manager um, design tree. If we go over to Display Manager, we can see these appearances that we've set, and we can see what we set them as. So we can see that our pink was just a boss extrude, and these were instances in the assembly. You can see that at assembly. So if we go back to our parts, we can see that this part, since we set the actual part file to blue, it appears, but this part, which is the bottom piece, here, we can see since we only set the color at the assembly level, in our part files, both this part and this part do not have any appearances, since they are only set in the assembly level.